many of the community of faith is rallying together to make a statement that we're tired of leading from behind and being reactive. We want to lead from in front and be proactive as it relates to violence in our community. We can't sit in the background and be quiet. And I think that's what has happened here in the city of Pine Bluff. We let a few criminals and a few thugs, I don't mind saying it just like it is, rule in our city. My name is Shonda Austin, and I'm the parent of Benjamin Urquhart. He was murdered in Pine Bluff April the 26th, 2013. I want to encourage parents that has lost their kids um, due to murder to work together with the city. That includes going to your mayor, feeling free to go to the chief key banks, which I had the chance to do to sit down and talk about what I could do to help in the city of Pine Bluff. Even before then, I decided as a parent that I would not let Vendrell's um, murder be in vain. Like I said, we have a lot of hot weapons. We have drugs. Neighbors, you have to get involved. You know, right. whether it's your family or not. When you see them doing something illegal that they shouldn't be doing, you, you need to report it. It could possibly save a lot. Hi, my name is Marquita Bullard. The Beecher McDaniel was my baby daddy, the one died on Thanksgiving. The most important thing I think needs to be done is for one of these people that's on drugs. I mean, the drugs is really to get on. Drugs is really messing people's head up. I lost my baby daddy because of a friend he thought he had and got on drugs and killed him for no reason at all. As a community, we must be outraged at what is going on. And to me, to know that a three-year-old was going from apartment to apartment to find help is unacceptable. Right. It was earlier this year that we as pastors of the Church Outreach Committee, along with many other entities here in the city of Pine Bluff, we started from 23rd between Olive and Cherry Street, all the way over to 28th Street, going from house to house. And do you realize, in that time, crime dropped over 50%. And so if that can happen in just this area right here where we are, how much more if we take it all over the city? That's why we are encouraging each pastor on a particular day, we want to teach the same things from our pulpit. So I am saying today, um, come and join us. We've got things that we're planning for January to hit the streets again. So come and join us. Watch the paper and you'll see what's getting ready to roll out. So we are in full support of the initiative and we will continue to do what we're doing. Uh, so far, we're down 17.5% on crime. It could be more. We need more involvement. Because Pine Bluff can become exactly what God wanted to be. It can become a prosperous city. It can become a successful city, yes. and it will become a safe city. Amen. But it's going to take all of us working and doing it.